Hey, beautiful people, just chilling out back here at my daughter's with Mr. Lucky Pants. I was hoping to see the dear family that came by the other day and just paid us a little visit. It's a couple, tiny fawns and a mama deer. Yeah, Joe, they're so cute. Oh, hi. Say hi to everybody. Are you in your pajamas? Lucky's still in his pajamas, y'all. How y'all doing out here? We're doing good. We're doing pretty good. An event that took place today that was not very good was, yeah, happening before for breakfast. I made these lovely well wait I put these in the oven I didn't make them I put them in the oven Pillsbury, I think, had something to do with the other part. Oh. Just a little bit of espresso this morning. Espresso. And I will confess, it's been almost three days without coffee. I did realize how much I missed it. So here it is. It's happening this morning. Got up, got up at the crack of dawn. Put these in the oven. Got my girl up. Let her frost her own. Lovelies. She wanted to frost them. Got her ready. Put that hair up in a bun. You ever had to put a hair up in a bun when it's short? Hmm. Yeah. Sweet Elle is at her gymnastics. Fall clinic yesterday and today. Hmm. And yesterday was Be Your Favorite Character, Disney character. So she wore her Elsa Leo. Today she wore her new competition um, Leo that... Um, I think it was black with some silver and cool stuff on it. Anyway. Yeah. I see squirrels. Oh, there they are. We had to do that and have our hair up in a meat ready um, bun. So, yeah, I did the best I could. Yesterday was a simple one. We did the Elsa braid. Mm -hmm. But today, mm. you cannot have my food. Y'all look at this beggar. There's a beggar in the house. He's still in his pajamas, y'all. Well, anyway, back to the story. Getting that girl to practice. I mean, getting that girl to gymnastics today. I followed that navigator. We got there. She was cold. She had her um, gymnastics jacket on. Oh, you're gonna sit in Mama's lap. You're not getting my. You're not getting my uh, cinnamon roll. You already had your breakfast. So, look. He's just like here. Let me. Let me just sit in your lap. Okay.
He is such a rotten Boeing. Well, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, this girl sneezed in the car on the way to gymnastics. And I just knew that her bun was going to fall down. I looked back there and it was, it was still up, but it looked a little floppy. I thought, oh, Mimi's not good at making those buns. Well, not without the donut that I like to use to help those buns get settled. But anyway, God love it. That child, she was a trooper. I probably put her bun in so tight that she can't smile. Because uh, it was just, oh, yeah. Hairspray. All the tricks. I tried all the tricks, y'all. I should have used hair gel. Didn't think about that. You know that stiff stuff? Well, I got there. I walked in and all these girls with their buns looking all perfect and I went ooh I did a mess up I did a mess up I was trying to be very don't cake her head with spray kind of Mimi but let me say probably should have caked her head with spray I did find some bobby pins to hold up some of the loose hairs and I hope that was allowed because I didn't ask but let me say this I'm looking at all these other girls in their hair things, and I'm like, mm. got them hair uh, buns way up here looking all meat ready, fancy fancies. I thought, Jesus, I hope that baby's hair stays up at least until halfway through the clinic today. <laughs> God love it. It's so cold this morning. I took that baby's uh, shirt, had it on her before I fixed the hair. And I told her, I said, when we get there, Mimi's going to take that shirt off of you. And we'll pull on the neck so it won't mess up your bun. So we'll get you out of it and into the, uh, to the gym so that you will be warmer in the car and not be freezing y'all we even took a blanket in the car and we were still freezing this morning lucky what you doing well trying to make a long a short story long you know me i get in there get her set up putting her backpack away reminded her that her lunch was in her um, lunchbox, everything in there she needed, her sandwich, her snack, her chips, the whole kit and caboodle, her jello, her spoon, it was all in there. And I said, now let's get that shirt off unless you want to keep it on. I don't want you to lose your shirt. I'm not sure if it has your name on it, so let's get, let's get your shirt off and you go in there in your uh, gymnastic uh, Leo. So she is in there uh, holding her hands up and I'm getting the, I'm getting that top off of her. This girl ain't bigger in a minute, y'all. She is like petite, five-year-old with uh, uh, mama bays, she said. Honey, them legs ain't bigger than a cane stick. What mama said to her yesterday. <laughs> I was like, Mom, she goes, Well, look at her. She's so skinny. I said, She's a gymnast and she's a wild, crazy child. She didn't want to be still. She's constantly going, so she she's not gonna gain any weight. Now, if I was constantly going, y'all, I wouldn't be so big right now. But not being able to walk distances with Mr. Lucky Pants right here. Um, like we used to. Y'all, I think I'm sitting out here in this Kentucky bluegrass. 
I took my allergy meds. They haven't kicked in yet. So anyway, got this baby's shirt off. Well, this gadget that I have in my hand that I am filming on, I put it down so I could lift her shirt up off of her head and bun. I did work hard on that bun, y'all. Obviously not hard enough because when I got in there and everybody else's bun was looking splendiferous. I was thinking I am not. I'm out of the loop with the bun making. I can do my own bun, but sure can't do no bun for some little one with a little short hair. Thin hair. I teased it and did all that stuff to it. Well, listen on. Let's get to it. Well, I put this phone down so I could take care of the business at hand. Walked her into her class. She looked down, stopped, and said, Oh, I've got my shoes on, Mimi. I said, Well, let's take them off, babe. Let's take them off. I'll put them in your, cup, in your cubby. I'll take them right back out there. Walked right back out there, y'all. Where the cubbies were. Didn't see my phone laying there. Just walked right off. Got in the vehicle and came all the way back home. I, I was reaching down to get my phone and I said, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Mom, do you have my phone, honey? No, I sure don't. I got your purse. I said, let me look in my purse. I start digging through my purse roll. Austin had already got out of the, uh, the vehicle and was in the house. He'd unlocked the front door for us because he went through the garage. Oh, I took off. Up them stairs. I said, baby. I told Mama, I said, get back in the car and get your seatbelt on. I've left my wallet and my phone right there. Oh, another airplane. This is a busy place. We're close to the airport. So, anywho, well, y'all, we turned around and went right back. But some little person who thinks he's a person, this little lucky pants right here, had himself a stroke, almost. While I walked in the door, and he is like, Like, where have you been? I love you. I missed you. Where have you been? I'm like, oh, Lord. Okay. Let's go, babe. We got to go head right back over to the gym and get my Mimi's wallet and cell phone. We took off with the lucky pants. Y'all, this boy is plum rotted. Look. I kid you not. He's a rotten boy. He went right along with us. And I'm going to hold on to him because I just saw a squirrel over there in that tree. And I don't think that this boy has ever seen a squirrel in his life because he thinks he's a people and not a dog. So anyway, I don't want him to jump down and run over there. Ooh, who don't poop on me? There went two birds fighting. I went to that place to that gym, but not until we had to pull over because somebody was whining and crying. He was sitting in Elle's car seat, having himself a pity party. He was looking all in the vehicle for her. He didn't know where his Elle was. He loves that girl. Well, let me just tell you, feelings mutual until he breathes on her and she said, ew, lucky your breath. Hmm. So, y'all, stopped and let him get out of the vehicle and do his duty. Yeah, well, we had a little spill this morning before we got to gymnastics. That's what cut us into some time because uh, Bubby dropped his whole glass of milk before he made it to the table this morning. And Lucky helped clean it up. Lucky licks a lot. He helped clean up the milk. 
And then we got the rest of it up with uh, some kitchen towels and stuff. Anyway, I'm doing a load of laundry right now. But Mr. Lucky here uh, doesn't normally drink milk, but he got right into that milk this morning, lapping it up. Well, all I could think was, this boy's got some diarrhea. Now, that's why he's whining in the tr in the back seat. I pulled over, let him out. All he did was pee and look around, trying to find Elle. I said, look, she's not outside. She's at her class. Let's go. Jumped him back up in the car. He went jumping back into her car seat and is sitting there sniffing and trying to figure out where that girl's at. I said, she's in her class. We're getting ready to head over there right now because Mimi left her phone, and which is in a wallet-type billfold thing. Took off, y'all. Got there. Prayed all the way there. Mom was having a meltdown. She worries about everything. She was just losing it. Lord God, honey. Lord God, honey. Lord God, honey. If, what if it's gone? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm like, Mommy, it's going to be there. It's going to be there. So, I had to give her a pill. Wait, two pills to calm her down. Two of those Highland Calm Down pills. That, um, it's a pretty good natural thing. I gave her two of them and joy to the world. Uh, she finally quit having a, oh, Lord Jesus, have mercy, God help us. Oh, Lord, have mercy, honey. Why did you leave it, honey? I said, Mom, we're, we're, it's going to be there. I'm going to go get it. I know exactly where it's at. Walked in there, walked down toward the cubbies, and as soon as I made that little turn, there it was sitting right there by my baby's cubby where she had put her backpack. I grabbed it up. Mm. And of course, my heart was beating and thumping real hard. But I had to stay calm. So I called on, you know, called on Jesus. Got my prayer life organized a little this morning. <sighs> After the milk spill and all that other stuff. It's all good, y'all. It's all good. You know how you got to just call on him. Well, I did that. The whole way there, I was praying. And Mama was whining. And picking her face. And shaking. And she was a mess. And I was like, it's going to be okay. I can walk in back out with my little wallet. Well, it finally hit me what God had done and how I kept my cool that whole time. And I went right, I was thankful. Let me tell you, I passed the bathroom. It said family restroom. I went in there. I had me a little hallelujah, thank you, Jesus moment right there in the bathroom in the gym. And All About Kids Place, that's what it's called, All About Kids. Beautiful facility with the pool and everything. And I thought, here we go, here we go. God, you're so faithful. You're so good. You know, I wanted to have my little cartwheel gymnastics flipping going on, but it wasn't the place. But I walked into that private little bathroom there, had my Jesus moment. Glory to God. Thank you, Father God. You're so good. You know, he is our protection, y'all. That little message from last night, late last night, we were reading from Hebrews, I think, about how he is our protector. And he is. Oh, <laughs> y'all. He is indeed the protector. And there we were. They were sitting, Mom and Austin were sitting in the car, my grandson. And I walked out there, had it in my hand. I saw Mama go. <sighs> she was so relieved. Oh, my goodness. Of course, I was relieved, too. And, but I tell you, 
when those moments happen, you got to call on that one that you know will take care of you. <laughs> we pulled up in the yard and um, in the driveways, excuse me, and Austin said, okay, do we have everything before I even take off my seatbelt? Just want to make sure we got everything before I get out of the car. I said, let me look, honey. Let me take a look. I'm like, yeah, we got it all. He goes, you sure? I'm like, yeah. Okay, you go through the garage and open the door let Mama in. Okay, baby? <laughs> we got out. We got in the house. I got Mama's medicine. I got her meds. I got her settled down. Did her blood sugar. And got her back in bed under the cover. Y'all, she sleeps till noon. So the last two mornings three mornings. She's had to get up early bird early. But she did. She was so tickled to be back home here and my daughter and be in bed, you all. She is snuggled up. She's probably snoring right now. <laughs> ah! And I'm having my little breakfast here. I walked over to the sofa where Austin was sitting a few minutes ago before I came out here and I said honey have you seen Mimi's phone and he goes uh no let me help you look for it and I winked at him and he goes you I said yeah I know where it's at I, I just was just just wanting to uh pull one on you there real quick and he goes <laughs> yeah I did have you seen Mimi's phone <laughs> I said you've probably never seen somebody uh, lose their phone and all that stuff all in one time all in one morning I said we've had a busy morning we had to we had milk spilling everywhere don't cry over spilt milk we had milk all over the floor. We had um, hair teased up into a big bun. We were we were beating the band, y'all. But hey, it's all good. It's all good. It's done. It's taken care of. And tomorrow's Monday. Today felt sort of like a Monday, but today is the Lord's day getting ready to go in here and find my channel uh, and watch my pastor preach. But first I need to heat my coffee up unless I just want to put some ice in it and have a little bit of iced coffee this morning. My espresso my espresso ain't so espressy. No. You know, it, it's not as tasty as it was when I first sit down out here. Let me get a nibble off this. There's some beautiful trees out here, y'all. Mm. Saw some real pretty ones. I'm going to take Mr. Lucky for his little potty right over there, but I have to put his leash on him. Because there is a squirrel up there. I don't think he knew what to do if he saw it, to be honest. He'd probably think it was a cat. Or um, something like that. And just try to... Sneak up on him. Like he does the cats back home. You want to sneak up on the kitty? Uh-huh. You missing your kitties? You missing Sugar Lumpus? Are you missing Sugar Lumpus and, and Lucy? They're fine. Mm. Hey guys, I'm gonna have to figure out something for supper. We got lunch figured out. I'm gonna have to figure out something for supper. There's another airplane. There's airplanes everywhere you go. My house. My, my daughter's house. Um, 
trains. Well, yeah, we saw several trains today cross several train tracks, but here we are. Giving God glory for taking care of my wallet and phone today. Getting us where we needed to be. And yeah, that's what's happening. You ready, baby? Wanna go inside? Wanna go inside? He's like, no, not until I do my duty. So we love y'all. Talk to you later. Sometime tonight. And you know what Mama always says. Go with God. And he will go with you. And I reminded her that today when she was having such a meltdown moment. But we got to remember a, a thing that will totally rock our world when we leave something like miles away in a facility and expect to go back and find it. That is a big deal. But it's a massive, huge deal for someone dealing with dementia and Alzheimer's. So, um, yeah, she's probably not over it yet. She'll talk about it for probably the next year. I mean, week. Hopefully not the next year, but yeah, there you go. Chat with you later. Go with God, and He will always go with you.